still setting up the the table here. But yeah, as you said, Chip Kiram is uh, that's one of my favorite decks of the weekend. I think actually both of these decks are two of my favorite decks: the Giratina V Star and the Kiram as well. And Kiram this is Max. just uh, this match is a great example of how impactful this set is. Both of yeah, these players true. are sitting at nine, one, and two, and their entire deck revolves around cards from the new Lost Origin expansion. Yeah, most definitely, Michael. Uh, Pramawat talked a lot about that yesterday. Just play what's on the pack arts and you yep. will uh, <laughs> succeed. It is the path to victory here. Of course, we must mention as well, Michael Pramawat, the winningest player in regional championship the history. <laughs> eight, uh, seven time regional champion, and he's looking to make a push to win number eight here today. The prize cards, nothing too big of a deal for either of these players, like some annoying cards. The Colrus isn't great, the prize for Pram, the Snorlax not ideal either. And over on Yoshi's side, you don't love to prize a Melanie, but you do play multiple copies of the card. So really kind of about what you would expect, nothing too detrimental, I would say. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, that wash energy actually would come into play. Oh, in that this. is true. That's a good, great point. Yeah, in this matchup here, because it does block effects of your opponent's attacks, which is huge for the Giratina V Star, um, star power ability. But here we go. We are getting into the game, starting over on Yoshi's side here with that Hisuian heavy ball. So Yoshi's going to get to look at all six prize cards straight off the bat here. So knowing exactly what is in the prize cards, if there was a basic Pokemon, you could switch the the Hisuian Heavy Ball with that basic Pokemon and just take it out of your prize cards, but there were none in there. So just resetting those prize cards now and then going to discard that Heavy Ball. But yeah, that Wash Energy is huge. And right away, this is a great start for Yoshi as he started the copy of Empoleon V in the deck, that Emperor's Eyes ability, shutting off the abilities of non-rule box basic Pokemon, so things like Comfy and Cramorant, which are some of the big cards in Michael Pramawat's deck. Though it was worth noting, it does not shut off concealed cards. Yes, Radiant Greninja is a rule box Pokemon. It looks like a uh, uh, a little one prizer, but there is a rule box there. It doesn't yep. matter if it's one or two prizes or three prizes or whatever. So we are going to see that concealed cards ability to draw two extra cards here for Pram. And let's see how the rest of the setup goes. Quick balling to discard that Drapion V. Not applicable really in this matchup, so easy pick there. But searching out another basic Pokemon to start on the bench. But but yeah, as you said, Chip, it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Pram chooses to play around this Empoleon V. But we did see Pram having to play around this exact setup yesterday as well. So yes. I'm sure Pram, Pram is very familiar with this scenario and has the outs to potentially play around it. And Pram did win that game up against yeah. Empoleon. It was the same <laughs> situation. True. His opponent started lone Empoleon <laughs> V in game one. So. Uh, Absolutely. And Pram right away grabs the Luminion to grab Colrus because he knows how important it is to get cards in the Lost Zone. It is the entire function of his deck trying to get to that seven cards mark so that he can utilize Mirage Gate to pull two different types of energy out of the deck, put them on his Pokemon in any way that he likes, ideally powering up a Giratina, maybe a Snorlax, something like that to get off a big attack. So. Here we go, Lost Zone cards. Number one of the day, Colrus is experiment seeing the top five here. So, yep, top five, two are gonna go into the Lost Zone, the first two into there, and then keeping three to the hand. So having to make some difficult decisions sometimes when you're playing these Lost Zone decks, but Pram, I'm sure, <laughs> after rocking this deck for so long, uh, is more familiar as to what is better to keep and better to kind of put into the Lost Zone. So we did see a boss's orders. I didn't see what that other card was that went in there, but that mm. is now two cards. Looks like that Thornton. Thornton, So okay. that's a, a really nice one of tech that you'd like to have in the late game, maybe to get your Luminion out of there and make it uh, another Giratina, maybe make a, another Radiant Greninja play out of a surprise, but not going to be something he has access to as the Lost Zone, quite different from the discard pile, those cards are gone forever gone forever no way to recover them retrieve them back out so that is definitely going to come into play potentially in the later game so pram now going back in with the quick ball getting that giratina v onto the bench here definitely essential for setting up for the later turns here and of course like we said pram working around having to manually put cards into the lost zone without any sort of abilities because 
of that Empoleon V. So we are going to see the uh, scoop up there for another concealed cards from the Radiant Greninja because it was rebenched. So now able to use that ability once again to just draw more cards. We are going to see also the energy attached for the turn here for Pram as well. And looks like Abyss Seeking will be the attack of choice. This is a great way to still get cards into the Lost Zone when you're unable to use Comfy. That flower selecting ability is so powerful, but does not work when it is uh, being shut down by the Emperor's Eyes ability. So this is really Pram's only option to put cards in the Lost Zone. But you, you definitely see how powerful this deck still is, being able to still oh, sure. get the cards into the Lost Zone, even without those Confis. And that's actually going to be a Confi and a Mirage Gate going into the Lost Zone. Two pretty Lost important cards. Forever. Those are very important cards, for sure, especially since there is also another Confi in the prize cards as well. Okay, so now we are back onto Yoshi's side. And we are starting off with an Irida, so able to search out a Water, a Pokemon, and an Item card as well for Yoshi. So we talked a little bit yesterday, Chip, about how playing the Empoleon V does change your strategy a bit uh, because you, you want to sort of play around what your opponent is playing around as well. So you kind of have to make sure that you are not leaving it out there to be escape roped or just sure. kind of played around easily. But also, you need to set up your board state as well. So we're going to see what Yoshi chooses to do here to set up on this first turn, or yeah. second turn. And his hand is really not that good. And we see that being reflected by the grab of the Radiant Greninja. And I think he's big time going to be hoping to hit something off of this concealed cards. Last turn was unable to find a Cure MV, was unable to get down any of his other pieces, a Ranguru or Origin Form, Palkia V. Any of these things would have been nice to at least try to bail him out a little bit. Grabbing the Quick Ball, though, means we could see a Crobat V come out, potentially. But I think we may be starting with the Concealed Cards. Sure enough, there we go, losing an energy. Getting two more off the top. Hopefully trying to find something for a little bit of help. Yep. All right. Let's see. Was and that the Crobat? Sure enough, that shiny that Crobat. That shiny one. There, there we go. Shiny Crobat. But it looks like there's going to be, of course, the Quick Ball first to kind of thin down the hand because that Crobat does allow you to draw up to six cards. So the less cards you have in hand, the more you get to draw out of the deck, which is huge. So Yoshi, I think, deciding to discard that Curum VMAX there to the I Quick so. Ball. Yeah, it looks like that was the choice. And now that there are Pokemon on Yoshi's bench, Michael Pramot will have the option to play an escape rope to push this Empoleon to the bench and maybe try to pull off a flower selecting on the next turn. Does grab the origin form Palkia V, which is a very important card for this deck. It is not a Palkia deck per se, which we are used to seeing. Palkia, of course, paired with the ever powerful Shady Dealings engine of Intellion and Drizzile but it is very useful still for its star portal V star power in order to throw extra energies onto your Kyurem V maxes. But does Yoshi not have a way to get a Kyurem V down? It doesn't look oh, like no. it. Yep, opted to go for that Palkia V and that Radiant Greninja before with both those quick balls. And now we are over on Pram's side after just an attach, another attach to the Empoleon V. So Pram starting out with a quick ball here, searching out a comf or sorry, not a comfy. It is a comfy, yes. Oh, that is a comfy. Okay. Yep, it's one of those pre-release. Yeah, I was about to that say that is a pretty. That yeah. is a pretty comfy there. Yep. Uh, yeah, searching out a comfy there, putting it on the bench, maybe potentially having a way to play around that and pulling on V, which is exactly what we're going to see, the escape rope. So Yoshi gets to decide what to promote here, and that Empoleon V is now going to be out of there, that comfy in the active now for Pram, allowing that ability to take effect. Oh, look at those two cars. <laughs> Simplest <laughs> choice Pram has made all tournament. Two battle <laughs> VIP pass. You know, I guess I have to put one in hand. He wishes he could lost on both of those, I think. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Flower selecting, not only just the same card. Oh, so you and have that's no a choice, huge pickup right there. Off of the concealed cards, he's able to find the Chorus's Experiment, Here which will put go. two more cards in the Lost Zone, and that means Mirage Gate is online. Yeah, Mirage Gate's online. The, the big numbers you look for, I think, for these decks is usually 4, 7, and then 10 yes. as well. So we are going to hit that 7, which will unlock the Mirage Gate. There is one Mirage Gate already in that Lost Zone that we've already seen. Uh, but is there one in hand? Yep, Ooh. I do see one okay. in hand okay, for good. Pram. Yep, very good for Michael Pramalot then. 
Looks like he does have access to that play if he wants it. Could start going in. The problem with this, though, is that neither of his attackers that he has lined up are really that great into the Radiant Greninja. He doesn't want to use his own Radiant Greninja. Moonlight Shuriken does 90 damage to two Pokemon, and you have to discard the energies. And if you attack with the Giratina V-Star, you have to Lost Zone two energies. That's and true. That doesn't feel... That, that's, a, that's a very steep cost to just take one single prize on this Radiant Greninja in the active from Yoshi. Yeah, that is definitely one thing about this deck. It hits so hard. That 280 damage from the Giratina V-Star is what we're going to be seeing. But, of course, as Chip said, you do have to Lost Zone two energies, which is definitely a steep cost. So you have to be very particular sure. with each of your knockouts because you need to prioritize you know, high prize cards or really do a lot of prize mapping yep. on the board state so that you can, uh, you know, deal with your deck as effectively as possible, not waste any sort of resources. And Primawat does play the two copies of Snorlax, but one is in the prize cards and he discarded one this turn. So that's usually a great option as a way to get off really solid damage. But Pram has now found a way to get two prize cards playing the escape rope will force up either of these two prize Pokemon. And Giratina V-Star is all powered up, lost impact, boom, taking out that Empoleon and adds two more cards to the Lost Zone, a total of nine now, just one away from a Star Requiem next turn. Yeah, most definitely. And Star Requiem is not something we've talked about just yet in this match, but uh, do you want to go over that, Chip? Because it's oh, a yeah. pretty wild Star mm -hmm. V-Star power. Very, very strong for just a Grass and a Psychic Energy. If you have 10 cards in your Lost Zone, your po opponent's active Pokemon is just knocked out. You're not doing any damage. It doesn't matter how many hit points they have. You just take them out. Now, Yoshi does have a way around this with the Wash Energy, but you pointed out, Shelby, he has prized that one copy of Wash Energy. Actually, no, he does play two copies looking at the list here. So yeah. if he could find that other copy, which it does look like he was able to do, In hands. that could protect him at least a little bit. This Palkia would still go down to a Lost Impact. So I really feel like you love to save this Wash Energy for a Kyurem VMAX, something that, say, that can't be one hit KO'd, right? a lot more on the Kyurem, but there's no Kyurem out right no. now for Yoshi. So that is definitely true. All right, so we are going to see an Irida here. Maybe now we will finally see that Kyurem come down because there is going to be the option for a water Pokemon and an item card here for Yoshi. So uh, that Irida card just allows you so many options from your deck and really uh, lets you map out your turns for the future. Uh, get either recovery attackers, get that last item you need to complete uh, a strategic move that you're making. And it looks like the Kirin V and a Capacious Bucket was mapped out so far for Yoshi. We'll see if those are the picks here being made. That looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. Makes so, sense. Yeah, it does make sense. And we're going to go straight into that capacious bucket, something you often see here. So Kyurem VMAX actually has a very strong ability that allows it to uh, attach, well, really accelerate water energy from the top of the deck after you usually place one there from your Orangaroo Primate right. Wisdom. We don't see the Orangaroo in play right now, but having the, avail the availability of those water energy is huge for this deck, so that Capacious Bucket is always very nice to have. And the Kirin V hits the bench. Yes, it is ready to uh, stay in play, hopefully for a turn. Yoshi's way back into this game. It's definitely an uphill battle at this point. Primawat has just had such a good start, and Yoshi's start has been less than stellar for sure. But he does have a path back in because he plays the one copy of Roxanne, and I actually already see it in his hand. So he's going to try to set up a little bit more here. I imagine we'll be seeing an attack with the Origin Form Palkia V-Star this turn, trying to power up this Kyurem for the future turns, and then hoping to stick Pramawat with a Roxanne. Hope that two cards is not enough for him to find a KO. Yeah, most definitely. And Yoshi, of course, identifying the power of that Wash energy as well and putting it on that Kyurem V on the bench because that is going to definitely be essential in the, the uh, as soon as Pram is allowed to use that star power uh, uh, move there be when there's 10 cards in the Lost right. Zone, that is going to be huge. So definitely protecting against that, but also uh, getting that energy onto the Palkia V-Star there for that subspace swell. Yes, we'll be seeing a solid amount of damage being launched out this turn, 220, I believe, in to the active Giratina. So it could be cleaned up pretty easily by Akiram on the next turn. 
And this is where Pramawat is probably going to be looking to go for a gusting play of some sort, take a knockout on this Kyurem, deal with the wash energy before it becomes a V-Star that is so much harder to KO. Or sorry, a V-Max, -max. right, yeah. right. No, yeah, most definitely. That's a good. Uh, that's a really good thing to point out there. So we will see if Pram does have that ability. We are going to see an Ultra Ball with two Battle VIP Pass, so very easy throwaway cards there for this Ultra Ball, allowing you to search out any Pokemon in your deck, eyeing up a Giratina V there, kind of putting it at the top, and that is what is going to be chosen out. We did see, you know, a couple of Pokemon in the prize cards there, but really Pram wants to get another Giratina V out, especially seeing all of those damage counters now yeah. on that V-Star in the active position. So making sure there is a recovery option, a backup attacker here is definitely very important. And Pram can make himself Roxanne proof this turn if he can draw enough cards. If he can set up and get a Mirage Gate play and put a bunch of energies onto multiple Giratinas, he'll make it so the only thing he needs to find next turn in order to close out the game, take his last two prize cards, would theoretically be the V-Star so that he could just use Star Requiem on the final turn. And here we go. There are now 10 cards in our lost zone here. It looks like he does have that boss's orders as well in the hand. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's <laughs> see if he wants to go for the Kyurem here. Maybe he wants to deal with the Palkia, but you could use the V-Star power at this point. I don't see another Mirage Gate, so that might be no. the, the thing he's trying to figure out a way to get here. Yeah, I see an Energy Recycler in hand. Of course, there's an Air Balloon Scoop Up Net, so there's a lot of switching out cards that we see. There's two Scoop Up Nets in hand, actually. We're going to see the first one being played right now, scooping up that comb fee, going into the Radiant Greninja now, attaching the Air Balloon there. Needs so a retreat. little more help, I think. Yeah, I think Retreat cost is lowered, rebenching that comb fee to promote it after retreating with the Air Balloon, oh. allowing for another Flower Selecting. I didn't see those two options shipped, did you? Yeah, I think it's two Energy cards. So he's oh, got to de no. decide which one is less valuable. Looks like it will be the Twin Energy. And Concealed cards can see two <sighs> more. Wow, so both of those Energy cards are at least gone in the sense that one is in the discard pile, one is gone forever in the Lost Zone. But there was a an Energy Recycler in hand, I believe, for Pram as well. Yes. This overall, I would say, is kind of a weak turn from Pram. Let's see what he's able to do. He definitely has not, he's seen a lot of cards, but he's not accomplished, I think, everything he would have liked to this turn. So I'm interested if he'll just go for the Star Requiem while benching and attaching to the, the bench to Giratina, or will he go for this boss's orders play? He might be fine using Star Requiem because he can theoretically close out the game in the future by just KOing the Crobat yeah, on the bench. That's so that's what we're going to see. That's what he's doing. Yeah, that's a good point, Chip, because there is already the wash energy down. So if it's not applicable there and you can do a move that knocks out a Pokemon without having to discard any energy, that's definitely huge for the plays down the line. So that is what we are going to see from Pram going down to two prize cards now on Pram's side. And we are back on Yoshi's side to see how this turn goes, evolving first into that Kirin VMAX with that wash energy that helped out quite a lot, I think, for the decision making there on Pram's Absolutely, side. Absolutely, yeah. This is a big deal. Pram felt much more comfortable going with the V-Star power mm -hmm. since the Wash Energy was going to protect this Kyurem anyway. And that Roxanne in Yoshi's hand is really going to be his way back into this game. He's down six to two prize cards right now. But where there's a Roxanne, there is definitely a, a way. way. And this Lost Vacuum is pretty nice as well. Yeah, definitely. Lost zoning a card and then lost zoning a tool or stadium in play. Getting rid of that air balloon on the Radiant Greninja will take away that pivot option that Pramawat had. Yeah, definitely. With the uh, taking away the air balloon and then also rock sanding directly after that, of yes. course, Yoshi initiating the rock sand. So able to draw into six cards after shuffling the hand into the deck. Pram only going to get two. And we've seen rock sands go a lot of different ways before for <laughs> these players. Yeah. Uh, and I think Pramawat chose not to attach an energy last turn. He had one in hand, didn't attach it for this exact reason. He wants to have energy cards in the deck so that he can conceal cards in order to draw cards off of the potential Roxanne or Marnie, some sort of disruption on Yoshi's side. That is a really good point indeed, Chip, because giving yourself all of the outs, playing around Roxanne is definitely important for whatever deck you are playing, and that is exactly what we saw. Pram does have an energy in hand as well. We're going to see Yoshi benching that Oranguru now, one of my favorite cards. 
um, there and using a primate wisdom. So this is what we're finally going to see that uh, Kiram VMAX, the ability take yes. effect here, switching that water energy to the top of the deck. And then that uh, ability allows you to reattach the energy off of the top of the yep. deck to any of your Pokemon. So Glaciated World throws it on to the active, powering up the eventual Max Frost. Max Frost. Very easy to take this KO now. You don't have to discard any of your energies, but what Yoshi is doing is he's just making this big Kyurem VMAX in the active spot that Pramwat is going to have a very hard time dealing with. He finally takes two prize cards now, and he is just hoping he can ride on the back of this Kyurem and that it will lead him to victory. Yeah, that is definitely huge. And we are going to see Pram. Oh. Oh, uh, is it the, the Mirage Gate? Yeah, and the Snorlax as yes. well, an attacking option in addition to finding that energy acceleration piece. Also finding the Giratina V-Star here wow. off of the flower selecting. This is massive. That is huge. And, you know, that may have not been possible if, like you said, Chip, Pram had opted to attach an energy card there because there was an energy in hand off the rock sand, which is huge. The problem here, though, is I don't think he has a way to get this comfy out of the active, and he can't see any more cards this turn. There's no... No um, more flower selecting? Yeah, no Colrus or anything like that in hand. His Luminion is in play, so that Ultra Ball can't go fetch that out of the deck to find a supporter card. He is, I think, kind of awkwardly stuck here. And this is a, a really a really tough spot, debating playing the Ordinary Rod before using the Mirage Gate maybe here. Yeah, that would definitely be awkward to have to Mirage Gate onto a Comfy to retreat for right. sure. And, <laughs> yeah. and it wouldn't even really uh, be effective here no. because there's, there's no, like, what do you even switch into? You don't have anything at that point. So that is, uh, that is definitely an awkward position. I think that is kind of... The, the tale of this game so far for Pram, just really awkward positions that Pram's been in. Uh, you know, getting those several cards even out of a Roxanne was huge, but not being able to get oh, there. Oh, just a passing. pass. That is a huge, huge miss from Pramwat. And this is exactly what Yoshi needed to get back into this game. And I think he just needs a boss's orders here. If he can boss his orders and take out this Giratina, that really is the big threat. It would take him two prize cards as well. Let's see if off of Rotom Phone he can find it. I don't see it just yet. Would have been an easy grab there because you can put it on top with the Rotom Phone and then Primate Wisdom into it. Looks like Capacious Bucket will be the grab instead, which means we may be seeing the concealed cards coming up soon. Oh, yeah, and that's going to be huge concealed cards as well because, like you said, Chip, if Yoshi is able to take out this Gear Venus, Giratina V-Star, that is going to be huge play here. So let's see what happens in these next couple of turns for Yoshi. There's still a pretty large hand uh, but it looks like we're going to see that Primate Wisdom first. Yoshi actually Switching. does also play two copies of Cross Switcher. That's right, not four copies of Cross Switcher, <laughs> two copies of Cross wow. Switcher. So he can only utilize that effect once per game. That is an additional way he could gust this turn. He's got one in hand. There is one in the deck, so if he could find an Irida, Ooh, he's got a switch in out. hand already, so that's another way he could potentially get a gust effect this turn. And he's got one boss, the two Cross Switchers, so ideally for Yoshi to close this game out, he would go gust KO the Giratina, gust KO the Luminion, and that would be an insane comeback, Ooh, and he's got the Irida! Go. There is that Irida. Let's see what we, yep. Oh, eyeing up that cross switcher immediately, putting it at the top there, still looking through the other choices in the deck as well, famil familiarizing themselves with everything that's in there too. Um, also having to potentially uh, bring out another Pokemon as well within the deck more. So yes. that water Pokemon, that Kieran V Max coming out too. There is a Kieran V on the bench as well. So here we go, Chip. The cross switchers. What a huge turn of events for Yoshi. He was down six to two prize cards, and Roxanne has found him a way back into this game. And his turn is not over yet. Concealed cards can still find a couple more. Yeah, two more cards here for Yoshi. I'm sure Pram is not liking what is happening right now no. on the board here. Bram's probably going to be thinking, does this guy really play two cross switcher? <laughs> like, that's it, just the two, the two copies, not seen a single other one this game. And sure enough, it looks like he's lining up the play. Giratina, get up here. Has to switch himself as well, but it's pretty easy to get this Greninja out of the active. Yes, there is a switch card in hand. So that is what we are going to be seeing here. Switching back into that Kyurem VMAX. Radiant Greninja is going back to the bench as well. And that Giratina V-Star 
is just out there in the yes. open, out there in the cold, getting ready to get <laughs> knocked out here by that powerful, fully charged up Kieran VMAX. Max Frost does need to discard four energy cards in order to take this knockout. So it is a steep cost, but a worthwhile one yes, as definitely. it will get Yoshi two prize cards. And Yoshi has found a way to tie this game up, taking two energy cards off the prizes as well. What is Pram's top wow. deck? Here we go. I didn't see the top deck, but here is a flower selecting. Ooh. Was it the Colrus? Another and a Mirage Gate. A, oh wow! Yeah, that is a tough oh, no. call. I do think Pram is still holding on to a Mirage Gate, but it is going to be a hard path to victory if you are unable to use multiple Mirage Gates in this game. Now Pram can take his lose condition out of play potentially. Um, Snorlax can win the game for Pramwat, but he's got to find his one copy of Boss's Orders, I think, that he has left because he plays two. One got Lost Zone super early on, so he can potentially find it. Doesn't look like he has it this turn. It's going to be the Colrus. What Pram might be looking to do here... Oh, and Boss yeah, there is, I know, is I in the that. Colrus. Wow. What, what Pramwat might be looking to do here is actually attack with the Luminion. It's attack, uh, swim away, I think, or swim freely, something like that. <laughs> it does 120 damage, and then you shuffle it back into the deck, and that is True. Yoshi's win condition. It's actually Aqua, Aqua return. return. Yeah, 120, shuffle it back in. I wonder if that's what Pram is thinking he needs to do. Yeah, there is definitely a lot of choices here, but Pram seeing that there there's still a fighting chance here, even though there's only two prize cards left to be taken for Yoshi, but Pram's still playing out this entire turn here as well. Something you definitely want to do when you're in day two, fighting for those points. So let's see what Pram's gonna do, benching another Comfy down. This is an incredibly close game here, Boo. I it don't is. know who's going to come out on top. Resources are running super thin, especially for Pramwat. He's only got like three cards left in his deck, it oh, looks no. like. Oh, no. That is uh, extremely thin. And he draws into two energy cards, which means it'll be That's... harder for him to use the Mirage Gate. But yeah. it actually looks like there is that energy recycler in hand here. That is true for sure. Doesn't so just have a way to move this active comfy right now, though. No, I'm trying to figure out what is the way out for Pram. What is the best move here at this point in time with the cards that are left? There's not much left, and it looks like it's going to be an attached Attach return pass. onto the Snorlax, passing it back here. As we said, the Snorlax does hit that 180. Three colorless energy is the cost, He's and just that would knock the Crobat. Fingers crossed and hope that Yoshi does not have boss's orders. And we know that he's only playing one copy of the card. The bench yes. is full, so theoretically this quick ball could have grabbed Luminion V out of the deck to fetch the game-winning boss. Not, but with, not with no bench space, he can't do it. That is very true, and that's where a lot of different options come in to play here when you're playing these decks. Ha Getting to play to all your outs, maybe leaving a little bit of bench space for yourself for those potential plays down the line, but that is not going to be a play here that we are going to get to see unless there's some way for those uh, Pokemon to come up from the bench. And if Yoshi does not win the game this turn, I think Pram's got it. He's got the Energy Recycler, yes. the Mirage Gate, and the boss's orders. Enough to clear this Crobat out of play. Is there a way to switch the Comfy out? Well, theoretically, Yoshi would be knocking it out, Oh, right? yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, so you would just true, get yeah. to promote the Snorlax and just close it out. Oh, but Yoshi found the boss's orders. Oh, my. I think he gosh. should have it here. Glaciated World will discard the top card, put the energy in play. If he has an energy in hand, he can get it through the energy Retrieval, grabbing two energies back, attach for turn, and the boss's orders that he hit off of the Primate Wisdom brings up the Luminion V to win <laughs> the game. The 6-2 to two comeback from Yoshi. That was huge. And Chip, this is why I love Oranguru. This oh, is yes. exactly why I love Oranguru. That Primate Wisdom coming in. Super clutch there for Yoshi. That was a thrilling game for our first game that we we're seeing of the day, Chip. I could not have asked for better plays from these players. Wow, and that was the do or die turn for it Yoshi. He, he either hits the boss and wins the game, or he doesn't and Pram can win. Energy Recycler, Mirage Gate plus boss would have been enough for him to KO the Crobat to just clean up and take his last two prize cards. Instead, though, Yoshi finding the boss off the Primate <laughs> Wisdom. One single what are copy the in the entire deck. There were still like 20 cards in his deck, I, I feel like. There was a ton of cards in there. That was absolutely wild.
to see. And now, and you know what I was thinking, Chip? Uh, I feel like we see the Crobat come down a lot of times for these Kyurem decks because they don't have a super strong draw engine sometimes if they get those weird, awkward hands. So we could see, you know, that potential liability on the bench again for Yoshi that Pram can kind of play around. Pram did prize uh, a Snorlax and I believe had to discard one right. earlier as well. So we didn't see that Snorlax come into play until super late um, after it was taken off of the prize card. So we could see some different variation in the plays from these players here in this next match by Yoshi going up a game and trying, to trying their hardest to close it out. A 2-0 would be fantastic. Yeah, and it is uh, already, I got a little sneak peek at Michael Pramowat's hand. Didn't quite see what Yoshi had, but Pramowat's hand is not looking too strong. We'll see what develops here on his opening turn. The Comfies. prize cards, a couple comfy being there is not ideal, but Pram's hand, he started the Cramorant, and he has like four energy cards in his hand. It looks like Luminion and Boss is the only options, and he's just attaching a Grass Energy and passing. Oh, no. Turn one before we even get to the table is already over for Michael Pramowat. That is definitely not what you want to see, especially when your opponent is then playing a Battle VIP pass, being able to set up their board states much better than you just were able to, that is for <laughs> sure. So Yoshi going through the deck now with that Battle VIP pass, allowing them to search out two basic Pokemon, put them on the bench right away as well. And also just being able to look through the deck, making sure you familiarize yourself with what is in the prize cards is also huge, especially when there's so much on the line in these matches. You have to make sure you are super familiar with everything that's happening in your deck so you can formulate those strategies to close out the games. Battle VIP Pass, absolutely the best way to be starting a game of the Pokemon <laughs> TCG yeah. right now. And right away, Yoshi eyes up the Radiant Greninja and the Origin Form Palkia V. Started the Curum, which is way better than it was in the last game. This start already for Yoshi is looking so much better. And maybe Yoshi will be the one being the aggressor in this match, especially seeing how weak Pramawat's start was. Yeah, most definitely. It would, uh, it's nice to see that Cur Curum V out there. Now for Yoshi, I mean, even with that super weak start, we did see that Yoshi was able to close the game out. So I can't imagine the power of this deck with an extremely strong start from Yoshi, especially when Pram is having an unfortunate first turn there as well. So this is definitely favoring Yoshi at the moment. Still searching through the deck here, going uh, in with that for that capacious Oh, sorry, Irda to search the Capacious Bucket and then a basic, or sorry, not a basic, a water Pokemon Yes, as well. Could it's be a basic, could, could be an evolution. It could be anything. Just yes. has to be blue. As long <laughs> as it is a water Pokemon, yeah, that is definitely <laughs> what you have to grab off of Irida. Now getting the two water energies as well into the hand. Can draw a little bit with the concealed cards. Get some energies in the discard pile to activate potential Melanies. And also has that Hisuian Heavy Ball, which is a excellent option Let's see if he's got any Pokemon in the prizes. Uh, yeah, there were there was one basic Pokemon in the prizes there, that Palkia V. Uh, but it's also just nice to see exactly what's in your prize cards sure. as well, just to make sure if you were searching through the deck and you kind of already knew, just to have a guarantee of what you what exactly is in there. And another Wash Energy is being prized, just like last game as well. But um, two copies are played in Yoshi's deck, so there are still options there. And we are going to see that concealed cards from the Radiant Greninja, allowing you to discard an energy card and draw two more cards to hand. Setup is looking very, very nice. The attach for turn. And we could actually even see that Kyurem V's first attack come into play. Rapid Freeze. Attach any number of water energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way that you like. It synergizes so, so well with Kyurem V Max. What a great attack on an evolving basic. Yeah, just as we saw the Giratina V has a great uh, move on the V, so does the Kyurem V. So equal in that sense. We are going to go over to Pram's side here. Colrus is experiment. What do you see in Chip? Not much to help. He's got an Ultra Ball, which could find a Comfy out, but he'd have to discard a bunch of cards in hand. And there's a Snorlax, an Ordinary Rod, an Energy, and an Air Balloon. So it looks like Air Balloon and Energy will hit the Lost Zone, adding the first couple of cards. And is he just going to have to <laughs> Ultra Ball and retreat into Comfy and just hope that something good can happen for him here? It is definitely looking a little bleak. Yeah, I think Pram had two energy in the prize cards as well. Um, so definitely 
Oh, lacking a little bit of energy here. Of course, these Giratina decks always play a lot of energy, as we can see, but there's energy all sorts of places right now on yes. the board state for Pram, so hopefully... Um, <laughs> Lost zone, discard pile, yeah. infield, in, in the field, and in the hand. <laughs> and in the hand, so we will see what happens here. Pram, of course, having recovery options as well, but having two of those energy cards when you are uh, having to discard and kind of play around uh, other energies being lost as well is kind of interesting. So we'll see if that comes into play later on. Shuffling up the deck now here. Pram really needs uh, a stronger board state right oh, yeah. now. He, he needs some help without a doubt. A couple cards in the loss zone. Cramorant can't even put some damage in play just yet. There is the Giratina and an escape rope. So we could see the Lost Abyss once again, just like we did in the last game. It's less necessary now because the uh, Empoleon is not in play. And it also would put Pramwat's Giratina at risk. So we'll probably just see it come into play and maybe just be benched and passed, something like that. We'll see what his options are. Yeah, most definitely. I think we're Ooh, just no going to see. A, yeah, just going to see a pass here back to Yoshi. So Yoshi really kind of just running away with this setup here. There's so many cards and hands evolving into that origin form Palkia V Star here on the bench, evolving into that Kiram V Max as well. Looks like a little bit of debate there on that, but going to evolve into it. Puts it in play. It is ready to start attacking with the Max Frost and. The Luminion V will come down, can search out any supporter card from the deck. Either Irida or Melanie seem like fine choices here at this point. Melanie can get you an extra energy card into play here and draw some more cards. Irida could help you get a little bit more set up. So what is Yoshi going to value here? Is the setup or is it going to be the card draw? And it looks like Irida is being brought to the front right away. Yeah, most definitely such a powerful card. And same with Luminion V. We've seen Luminion come into effect in so many of these decks recently, especially yes. these new builds, and it is so helpful in these decks as well. It's really interesting, too, because when Luminion first came out in Brilliant Stars, most people chose not to play it no, in decks. Yeah. Like, a little bit here and there, but for the most part, people were not about playing it. Uh, Yoshi does yeah. have to get the Irida. Yeah, He's going a little bit ahead yeah. there. Did eye down that Irida, but yeah, uh, just didn't put it, it into play. There yeah, but go. it looks like it's being called here right now. So going in with the Irida here. It is so easy when there's so much sequencing, sequencing in these decks to kind of get a little bit ahead of yourself. Yes. But we are going to see that Irida be pulled to search out a water Pokemon and an item card. Going with that Capacious Bucket, a familiar uh, set of cards that we've seen <laughs> here today. Undoubtedly. And uh, for a while now. So that Capacious Bucket allowing you to search out two basic water energy. And this is pretty smart, I think, from Yoshi as well. He has maybe identified that the setup here from Pram is not the best. So an Empoleon could be pretty strong here. Try to slow him down, especially when you're combining it with a KO on the Cramorant. And he finds Switch off the top. So that's wow. a pretty easy way for him to get into the Empoleon. He did grab the Empoleon right off of the Irida, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So I that is that, an option. That is in the hand now, I believe. Um, unless there, unless it was switched, but I'm pretty sure I saw that Empoleon come out. We did see that extra card draw as well with that concealed cards, and we're just going to see the knockout here for Yoshi, knocking out that Cramorant on Pram's side and taking one prize card here back over to Pram. And Pram just drawing his card, hoping to find some form of help. He's able to get it in the way of Comfy. Able to escape rope into this flower select and can see two cards off the top. Easy choice. Get rid of that battle. VIP pass. Giratina now going to the hand. He's yeah. got Luminion to find a supporter, it looks like. Yeah, I think so. I did see that in hand, which is exactly what we're going to see here. Pram playing their own Luminion here to search out a supporter card from the deck. Yo so Yoshi did have that Empoleon in hand, but chose not to play it. But if Yoshi had put it down and the escape rope came <laughs> into oh, yeah. play, that, that would have been, been yep, rough yep. because the Empoleon would have then been in the active. We, we may not have even seen that escape rope there no. <laughs> from Pram. So here we go. We are going to see that Colrus's experiment search out off of the Luminion V supporter Pokemon there on the bench. And it is going to be activated looking at those top five cards. Three are going to go to hand and two to the loss zone, oh, adding to that number. What is this choice? He's got two <laughs> Giratina V-Star and two Colrus's experiment there as the choice off the other Colrus. That is, uh, yeah, that's rough. 
That is definitely rough. We're going to see concealed cards here, discarding any energy cards. So that special energy going to the discard pile. Two more cards going to hand. A quick ball and a grass energy for Pram here. And it's so crazy because Pram has so many cards so in his many. hand. But so there's many. just like nothing going for him. He doesn't even have seven cards in the lost zone yet. Mirage Gate not even activated. This is, man, this is just really looking hard. Yeah, now at least having the ability to bench two Giratina Vs. So at least if one is bossed up or knocked out somehow, um, you still have a surviving Giratina available to you. And yes. we are just back over onto Yoshi's side here. Like I said, Chip, just kind of running away with this game right now. Not having to put up any sort of defensive plays, just completely on the on offensive side. Now potentially choosing to bench that Empoleon, but going through the motions here, making sure that's exactly what uh, they want to do. Like we said, keeping bench space open is definitely uh, critical for this deck as well, just playing to all of your outs. Of course, the Luminian V is already in play now, but still, there's other Pokemon. Oh, yeah. There's there's Oranguru. you got to make sure you've got space for Oranguru. Yeah, that's a huge one <laughs> for sure in order to accelerate those energies at your leisure as well. So here we go. Yoshi back into the deck deciding... Uh, what to get here. Looks like it will just be that Orangaroo coming into play. Yep, off Probably of is going to be benched here shortly. Quick ball coming in to get that, that Orangaroo. And then we are going to see an energy retrieval. So two energy cards going straight back, not into the deck, but into your hand. Which is huge, especially when you have the Orangaroo now. Then you can just set up those plays with yes. that Kirim VMAX. Uh, ability, and that is definitely giant concealed cards here, as we're going to yep. see, just discarding another uh, energy card and drawing two more cards to hand. So you can see the power of this Kirim deck. So much draw support, energy acceleration, intense and super powerful uh, move to just hit whatever numbers you need. It is just running away. Yeah, Yoshi is definitely running away with this game, and he's eyeing up Cross Switcher with Irida. Is the second copy of Cross Switcher in the hand? Or maybe he's just setting up for a future turn. Going to take this KO on the Comfy potentially here, and then ho just trying to start building that piece up in hand, because I think I did see the second one still in the deck. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Um, and I mean, when when you have the ability to, just lining up your hands and preparing for future turns is definitely what you want to be doing when you're completely playing offensively. So here we go. Yoshi has kind of done so many moves here, but still has more to go. Switching that water energy to the top of the deck and drawing another card with that Primate Wisdom off of the Oranguru. And then we are going to see that Glaciated World ability from Kirim VMAX to accelerate that energy onto the board wherever you want as well. Yes, can go anywhere you would like to see it. And Yoshi might be putting an energy, looks like on Palkia, just making another attack option. Something he could try to force is go take a knockout with a Palkia and then try to just force two Kiram VMAXs and hope Pram just can't get through the two VMAXs and hope that he's never able to find the gusting option to KO Luminion. But for now, it will be the Kiram VMAX taking the KO. Now Yoshi the one being the aggressor in this game, a four to six prize card lead. Was Pram able to find anything? We know he's got a couple Colris to work with. Yep, that is definitely true. All those Colrus that were drawn yes. from the Colrus. Yeah, they just find each other, I guess. <laughs> Most definitely. And if anyone's confused about the coins kind of being thrown around here on the board state, that is just to um, symbolize, I yes. suppose, that a, uh, an ability has been used from these Pokemon to make it much easier for the viewers and for the players to see, to keep track of things. Uh, so we did see that concealed cards being used from the Radiant Greninja. Now we're going in with another Colrus's experiment. Decisions are being made here from Pram. Yeah, tough and call some here. Yeah, some tough ones indeed. It's always, I mean, Colrus is just a hard card it is. to play. It really is. Being forced to loss zone two pieces that you're not going to have access to for the rest of the game. One of them being that key Mirage Gate. It looks like he will oh. value keeping that. I know he has two in hand, so adding this Mirage Gate would make the third copy in Pramawat's hand, so maybe he's debating, is it okay to Lost Zone it? But no, it will be Scoop Up Net and a Grass Energy. It's just tough Lost Zoning so many energy and then having to discard so many energy. I'm really wondering how many energy are left for Pram as well. Um, 
to have in the deck as well. So well, hopefully, is, yeah, hopefully enough. Yeah, should there's be, a lot of energy yeah, in this deck. Is is playing 13 energies here, so there's plenty of options, even with a couple in the lost zone. And he's got plenty of ways to recover energies as yep. well through the ordinary energy rods and the, the energy recycler. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so making starting things off with a uh, making a tough choice for Yehoshua Tate. Playing the escape rope now, Yoshi has to send something into the active. And he doesn't quite know what Pram is going to go with yet. And is he ooh, thinking about sending up the Luminion? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, would be a two prize card Pokemon sending up into the active. And I think this choice is based on every other Pokemon in play. Yoshi the just retreat. values way too highly. Yeah, he wants yeah. to keep Oranguru around. He wants to keep concealed cards as an option. He can't just feed the Palkia for two prizes. So if you have to feed something and it's going to give up two prizes, I guess it's going to be Luminion. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, if you don't have a ton of switching options as well, having a low retreat cost could help out there in the future. Yeah, I think whatever he sends up, though, is like pretty much always being KO'd by yeah. Pramwa this time. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, And the Recycler is going to be signifying that as well as four energies will go back into the deck. And let's see how many Mirage Gates are about to come down. There's number one, grabbing two energy of different types out of the deck putting them onto Pramod's Pokemon however he wishes. Looks like two going to the active Giratina. Yeah, I mean, you can really see how even if you're down with this deck, you can really recover pretty strongly thanks to that Mirage Gate. Such a powerful card once you unlock the ability to use it through the cards in your Lost Zone. So that is huge. Are we seeing the triple Mirage Gate turn here oh from Pramod? He's thinking about it. I think it. so. <laughs> I think we're about to see that, Chip. He's got an energy in hand, so he could theoretically hold off. Yeah. But no, let's... Play it down, get those energies into play while I can. And he'll have plenty to work with from here on out. Playing three Mirage Gate. He started this turn with zero energies in play, and look at this. Now he's got six. six. Oh, my goodness. Six energies in play off of a triple Mirage Gate. I guess really emphasizing uh, the power behind that card. This is a new card that we have from Lost Origin, and you can see why so many players are opting to play it because it just fits so well and synergizes so well into these Lost Zone decks. One of the best cards, I think, to come out of Lost Origin. Undoubtedly. And the attach for turn makes it seven energy cards now. Yeah, in here we play. go. Two will have to go to the Lost Zone here. Not quite at the point where Star Requiem can be used as the V Star Power, so Two will have to hit the Lost Zone, but that will add two cards to the Lost Zone to make Star Requiem a much more likely possibility. Yep, and that two prize card Pokemon going down for Yoshi here. Pram taking two prize cards there off of the bottom. And key thing to note here as well, Yoshi Tate has been unable to find the Wash energy at this point in the game. Yep. He had prized one. It is still in the prizes, so he's got one left in the deck. That would be an excellent card to find here to put on this active Curum VMAX, as it would protect it from being KO'd by the Star Requiem, as since it is not an attack that deals damage, it just knocks you out as an effect of an attack, Wash energy would protect from that. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, Yoshi should know it's in the deck as well. So we're going to have to see some card draw here. We did see the Capacious Bucket searching out only one water energy from the deck, still thinning the deck out a little bit. And hopefully we get to see some draw and hopefully hit into that water or sorry, wash energy, because that is definitely huge for this turn. And Yoshi can draw a bunch of cards. Here. Yeah, I mean, He's got Melanie. Concealed cards. Concealed cards. And Primate Wisdom as well. Yep, that is very true. And that is the draw engine of this deck. All those cards right there combined together. So we are going to see that Melanie taking that water energy from the discard pile, applying it to one of your Pokemon V, and then you get to draw three cards. So let's see what are these three cards for Yoshi. No wash energy just yet, but does find a quick ball that can thin a card out of the deck so that using your concealed cards and your Oranguru give you a more likely chance to find that piece that you are digging for. Choice Belt is also a nice pickup. It will mean that that's one less energy card you have to discard in order to get the KO with a Max Frost into a Giratina, now only having to discard three. Yeah, that, that is definitely a good find for sure, but not exactly what Yoshi's probably looking for here. Definitely wants to protect that Kieran VMAX because that is a three prize Pokemon that Yoshi, I'm sure, does not want to see go down here, especially in that manner, just being knocked out. No damage even done, especially because Kieran VMAX is very beefy as well. So just be having it 
taken down for no damage is yes. kind of a rough sight yes, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> but here we go. We are going to see the concealed cards ability. Let's see what two are drawn. Oh, Rotom Phone. That is a nice little bit of help, especially considering that Primate Wisdom has not been used. So this is five cards off the top Yoshi can see to potentially find this key wash energy. First, it looks like it will be a quick ball being played. Thinking of what to discard, Lost Vacuum not going to be useful now. And this can just thin a Pokemon out of the deck. And let's see if he can find the wash energy or not. It should be in there. Yeah, I think I saw it um, closer to the top I there. I think so, yeah. So, yeah, eyeing it down. Again, thinning out the deck as much as possible. Still trying to hit that. Protect that Cure of VMAX would put Yoshi five in a cards. much stronger position. Let's see these five off the Rotom phone. Oof. I'm on the edge of my seat, Chip. Yeah, this would be a huge hit for Yoshi, and it would make things really hard for Pram. And he does oh. not find it. <laughs> That I is unfortunate. So now Star Requiem will be able to pick up the KO on this Kyurem VMAX next turn. And yeah. I don't think Yoshi has any other way to find more cards. And, you know, that would put this game at, again, a nail-biting finish for both of these players here. We do need to note as well, time is winding down. Less oh, than wow, a minute. I didn't even notice yes. this, Chip. Less than a minute remaining in the round. So right now what we're looking at is the difference between Yoshi winning and Pram forcing a tie. Now, neither of these players really, I think, particularly wants to tie. Taking a loss at this point and taking a tie is pretty uh, indifferential. You probably have to win your last few games regardless. Yep. But I think Pramwalt would be fine taking a tie compared to taking a loss. So let's see if he can find a way to squeak out this last game. Just about 10 seconds remaining from Yoshi. And a big thing here is going to be, can he pull off the attack before time fully expires? It doesn't yeah. look like it. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's getting close. But Pramwalt has not drawn his card for turn, which I believe should mean... We'll have to get exact confirmation. There's a big difference here between Pramawat being turn zero or Yoshi being turn zero. Yeah, most definitely. But Yoshi is going to take that knockout there on the Giratina V-Star. Going down another two prize cards, only two left. But this is still going to be a very exciting conclusion to this game because we don't know what's going to happen here yet, Chip. So time was called during Michael's turn. So this is turn zero. After time, you, of course, get plus three turns. Turn zero, Yoshi would be turn one, Pramawat turn two, and then Yoshi turn three. So Pram, in these two turns he has, turn zero and turn two, he needs to Has take to wrap it up. Two knockouts on multi-prize Pokemon. He can pretty reasonably knock out this active. He just needs to find the V-Star, use that Star Requiem, and then he needs to close the game out by KOing a two-prize Pokemon on the bench, or I guess a one-prize Pokemon would work as well, as Kieran VMAX is a VMAX Pokemon giving up three prizes. Yeah, most definitely. There still has to be one more card put into the Lost Zone. We still need to see the V-Star as well to unlock that ability, but there is a Colrus's experiment in the hand, too, so we are going to see that scoop up net, scooping up the Radiant Greninja off of the bench. And then we are going to see an Ultra Ball discarding that Radiant Greninja and another card here to search out for that V-Star. That is one piece needed here for Pram. Now we just need to see that Lost Zone increase to at least 10, which is definitely a possibility from Pram's, Pram's hand. And then we can see this Kiram VMAX fall Yes, it would the go wash down. Energy. No, 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 no wash energy available. Yeah. Boss's Ooh. order is actually going to be the play. So this is wow. smart from Here we go. Oh, I wonder if he should have KO'd the... Oh, no, he's bringing up the, the Palkia because Yoshi has not used his V-Star power yet. So trying to make oh, it as hard huge. as possible to use Star Portal to get those energy cards in play in order to take the win. Yoshi can that win this turn. Huge. He just needs to get three energies on this active Kyurem. And Ultra Ball, I think, should be able to find the Palkia V-Star as long as it is still in the deck. And it there is it is. It is in the deck. There we go. We are going to see Yoshi take that win. Congratulations. That was incredible playing. It is so nice to be sitting here and seeing Kyurem V-Star max succeed and yoshi's a long time player like i mentioned earlier on someone who's definitely known for playing unique decks and even when he plays something that may be considered a you know meta deck you, uh, you know kiram definitely being in that tier two category i would say something that you would expect to see 
at a regional championships. He finds a way to spice it up. He's got those cross switchers in there. Such sick plays, able to pull things off. And he's able to win against one of the greats of the game, Michael Pramalot. Yeah, and we did see some incredible play there from Michael as well. Always a treat to see on the stream. Just couldn't pull it out that time for the tie, but still such a great player. And, uh, you know, Yoshi, we, we heard a little story kind of backstage about how the, the deck choice came about for Yoshi. I guess there was talk of Tyranitar being yes. played before. <laughs> That sounds much more like a Yoshi deck. Yes. Than, than Kiram, <laughs> Kiram VMAX. Yoshi, Jeremy was telling us that he had spoken with Yoshi earlier on in the day. He was testing for this event with his daughter, and she just kept beating him over and over and over again Playing with Kiram. her Kiram VMAX <laughs> deck. And he was like, you know what? This this deck seems pretty good. So. Yeah, I'm just going to play what my daughter's playing. Yes. <laughs> and it ended up working out. I mean, Yoshi here sitting now at, I believe, a 10, 1, and 2 record. Excellent spot. 32 match points. Just one win away from getting to 35 match points, which should be the range players are trying to get to yes. in order to make it into top eight of this event. Yeah, and that was also just a thrilling game to see oh, for yeah. our first game of the day, Chip, as well. Like I said, both of those decks were kind of equal as far as power as far as pace as well so really to see a nail biting two games was great it really was and that i mean especially the end of that game one where yoshi yes. rips the boss's Woo! orders from the primate, primate wisdom, wisdom for the win if he doesn't find that we might be